Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and cook a soup um, from a Delia Smith recipe book called One is Fun. And it's designed for recipes for one person, okay? And here it is. Thick cheese and onion soup. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. I am not really a soup type person. And also, they recommend for the garnish parmesan croutons. Now, I'm not going to eat any croutons because when I've had eaten croutons done professionally, it's basically um, cooked, baked, cubed bread um, pieces, okay? And when I've had them done, I've bought them sometimes, you know, professionally, and they've been very hard and and very crunchy maybe it's something different compared to what she's doing i don't know but they seem very hard and crunchy and i don't have many teeth in fact i've got virtually no teeth so it's sometimes painful for me or not enjoyable for me to eat it so i'm going to eat it instead with just bread pieces of bread with the soup okay and i'm going to start off with the onion i'm going to chop the onion and the rest i will do um using the ipod touch but this I'm going to do here and I'm going to chop the onion up okay so this one yep yeah. like that worth it cut off the as I said I'm going to do this rather quickly so it's not going to be done in the nicest way possible and i'll probably waste a lot of onion in doing this but because i'm doing it on camera um i'm going to do it quickly now yes that'll do actually so it's actually come off quite easily so now I'm going to chop it, I'm going to cut it quite small, so... If it's going to be chopped up small, it probably doesn't matter, so I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to cut it that small actually because I truly can't be bothered. But that's some of it cut up small. I'm going to do the rest of it now. So you're supposed to cut this up very small, but I'm not. I can't be bothered. So.
I know this is really boring watching me doing this, but I'm sure some people like to see me actually doing it. This is about the only fancy thing I have to do, truthfully, because the rest of it is just putting things in, pretty much. I'm just doing a few bits. These were on the outside, so just harder to do. Just gonna pick some of these bits like that. Probably would have been easy to throw out the outside bit, but never mind. This is most of it, so now I'm going to just go like this and go. Just a minute. Just I'm sure it's a professional way of doing it, but this is what I'm doing for now. To be honest, I'm not really bothered how small it really is because I'm going to eat it, frankly. <laughs> I'm not, you know, preparing it for some luxury meal, so. Hopefully that will do. Now that's the um, onion chopped. The rest of it I'm going to do on the film on the iPod Touch. Um, it's fairly sort of obvious. It's there's not much to this, truthfully. But I've never done it before, so it's probably going to turn out to be a complete disaster. I should measure things out, but I'm just going to guess it, truthfully. Because it's late at night. It's actually about. Five o'clock in the morning, to be completely honest. And I'm doing this because it's one of the few times when my mum is asleep and won't have the telly on or something. So, anyway. Oh, this bit I didn't do. Never mind. I'm done now. I'm sure there's lots of bits I haven't done, but it doesn't matter. Right. Right, first I'm going to show you um, some cheese I bought, so it's, it's, it's seriously creamy, grated mature cheddar, and seriously is the name of the brand for some reason, and so I'm just going to have the lighting a minute. You're meant to cut along the top with some scissors. I'm going to use a knife instead, to be absolutely honest with you. A 
and now I can just pull it and it says reclosable pack I don't know if you can see that, but it says reclosable pack. And the idea is, is that here, once I pull this off, now it's got something here where you can open it and then you can close it again. And then you can, in theory, turn it upside down and it won't come out. And we cut what they call a reclosable pack, okay? So you've got this special thing here which opens and closes it, okay? And then here it's got some grated cheese, okay? It's got some grated mature cheese, okay? I could have grated it myself, but I was just too lazy. And I just wanted to show you right over here. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I'm in trouble. I just wanted to show you over here in Britain that you can buy grated cheese, okay? It's been professionally grated if you can't in other places, I don't know. Other countries, okay? Right, so. That's that. I also have some um, cream here, and believe it or not, this is actually Polish cream. I went into a local shop because they didn't have any cream locally in most of the normal shops, and I didn't want to go all the way to the supermarket just for some cream. So it just happened to be somewhere else, and there happened to be a Polish shop nearby, so I went in and I asked them if they got any cream. And they gave me this. Um, they said, are you sure you want this? It's Polish cream. And I said, well, if it's cream, I don't mind. Um, I think this cream has actually been um, made and um, provided in Poland. It's probably been shipped all the way from Poland to here. Even though, you know, you can easily um, get cream in this country, but never mind. They claim this is UHT cream, which means it's meant to last longer. And before you open it, I have opened it for something else, but never mind. Um, also have here some anchor butter. This time I did get real butter for something, okay. And we've also got some salt. And some pepper. Oh, stink. Stupid rubbish. Um, I've also got some nutmeg. <coughs> I'm going to have to point at the light to get it to brighten up something. I'm sure it's will do a terrible job, but never mind. And we have some nutmeg. Uh, um, I also have some salt, change for salt. I also have some black pepper. I put some of the black pepper back into this and show you. So, this is stone milled black pepper. I've used that in a previous recipe, something else. And um, there's also going to be milk and water. I think this is pretty much um, most of the ingredients. Um, so now I'm going to get some water and some milk and I'm going to pour that into a jug and then you'll see me um, do things, okay? Right, now, I have approximately 175, 175-ish, I'm just sort of semi-guessed it, millilitres of water in here and in this carton of milk I've got roughly the same I checked earlier so this is just normal milk here 
This is in two litres, often you buy this in four pints, sometimes some say four litres, two litres, some say four pints, it's roughly the same. Um, I'm now going to take the lid off and screw the lid and pour the rest into the jug. Wait a minute. And that's approximately 350 millilitres. That's what I wanted. She talks at some point about whisking it. I'm going to actually do some of that now, even though it's a waste of time. So, put a whisk in. that has whisked some of the water and milk together but I'll do it properly later um, after I've done things with the um, flour I forgot we also have some flour this is plain flour McDougall's is one of the top brands here um, it wasn't ridiculously expensive because I got this um, from a shop slightly cheaper um, and I will add that soon, okay? So that is the milk and the water dealt with for now. That will be added later to the soup when I start cooking it, which will be very soon, okay? Okay, now here's the cooker. I'm going to turn the cooker on. I did that camera done slightly earlier. And now, I'm going to put um, some butter in. So, I have the anchor butter. I'm going to open the butter. And to be honest, I'm just going to guess it. It's meant to be about a tenth, so I'm going to... To guess it, I'm going to put about... Put about that much in. Is it starting to melt? Once it's done that, I'm going to line the saucepan. I'm going to push it down with this, so I'm going to also try and turn the butter over because then it might speed it up a bit. Now see the butter starting to melt.
I know watching butter melt is extremely boring, but there you go. Chop it up into little pieces, then and push it down. It will do it a bit quicker. Anyway, I'm going to leave now. Normally I wouldn't bother about it putting the extra little bits, but there you go. I think that's all the butter now. Now, I'm going to do is I'm going to put the onion in. So the onion I, that you saw me cut off earlier, I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to make it go through this hole here, so... Some of it I'm also going to skim. This is where you realise that you didn't cut your in as fine as you would have liked, but. Some of the rest I'll add later, so there you go. You can now see me I'm just going to push the rest of it in with my fingers. I'm going to turn it down I think that's practically all the onion and some very very small pieces going in Now I'm meant to leave this for about 15 minutes, so it's meant to do that for about 15 minutes, so I've turned it down. I'm meant to put a lid on as well. Personally, I think it's probably a bad idea to put the lid on. In this particular case, I'm sure it will like start to rise and go everywhere, but... Now put on a low heat. I did originally put on a fairly high heat, which probably was a bad idea. I'll turn this down because I know that um, I know for a fact that you know because it has, once the ceramic hob gets very hot it takes a while for it to cool down so even if I turn it completely off it, the ceramic hob will stay warm for probably at least 10, 15, 10 or 15 minutes so that should be long enough okay so I'll now 
and leave it for probably about 10 minutes or so, okay? Right. Right, now this is a bit less than 15 minutes, but I'm doing this because I'm going to be filming, so... I'm just going to show you what it looks like so far. I'm going to stir it round. Now, I'm going to show you... I actually have... I showed you some flour earlier. I actually have some of the same flour Exactly same, but a smaller bag in, inside another bag. This is actually um, was a, a cheese bag, but that's because this bag split, which actually has some plain flour in it. So I want to finish this off in here. So I'm actually going to until the plan here. Before I do, I'm just going to show you the best before date. It's um, August 2018. So this is about. Four years out of date, but it'll do. You can see me. I wanted to empty this bag for a while, so now I've had an excuse to. I had also started on the other one, because I'd forgotten about this one once upon a time, so there you go. Four years out of date flower, but I don't think it really makes any difference. If anybody doesn't believe this is a four year out of date video, recently um, we have an ethnic Indian Prime Minister now called Rishi. I couldn't have known that um, in 2018. Okay. Now. I'm also going to add a bit more from the big bag. And the big bag itself is slightly out of date, but it's about... The big bag is about one year out of date, okay? It's a level one. But, to be honest, I think flour is flour. And, you know, I'm, I think it'll last for a long time, okay? So now... I'm going to turn the heat up again. I'm going to stir this round. And so stir it until it becomes a paste, and then slowly add the um, milk and water. So I'm doing just that. Stirring this round until it's a paste. As I said, I've just guessed the amount they do. do, do you just state an exact amount, but I've pretty much guessed it. So I'm not an expert on soup, so this is probably going to be a disaster, but never mind. Probably my fault for not weighing it properly. Most of my things I did weigh in the past, but now I just guess sometimes. I now have the... Um, milk and water which I mixed together earlier so I'm going to put that in you meant to do a bit at a time and then mix that in with the flour until it becomes a thickish soup and then now it's starting to get a bit thicker. I'm now going to pour some more in. And again, stir it until it becomes thicker. Now 
Now, more. Delia seems to be obsessed in a lot of her recipes with people um, putting in bits at a time and then stirring it rather than doing the whole lot in one go. For things like this. Quite a lot of her recipes she tells you to put in a small amount of you know, liquid at a time and then stir it until it gets thicker and then put more in. Maybe it's because it helps to some of it to evaporate, I don't know. Um, well, there you go. So Right, and now I'm going to, I think all of it in now, that's probably a mistake, but never mind. Now you can see the um, onions in the soup. And I'm uh, meant, I think, to turn this off a bit and leave it for about six min minutes. So. Yep, so now I'm meant to whisk it, so I'm just going to move the spoon out the way a moment and put the whisk in I'm, I'm just turning this around, it's a hand whisk so I'm sitting around with my hand <coughs> by doing it by hand I'm saving the planet because I'm saving electricity, even though it's probably negligible. <coughs> this was originally a non stick um, source pump, but the non stick materials come off over the years at the bottom so I'm not too worried otherwise this might have destroyed a non-stick coating but never mind doesn't matter now it's gone over the years um. So now this is the soup, I've turned it down and it's starting to get a bit thick I don't know if I've put too much flour in or not enough I'm not a soup expert but she did say it was a thick soup so I'm taking a final word on this I want to leave this for about Six minutes. I'm not sure if you meant to continue stirring for six minutes, but uh, wait a minute. It says don't let it boil, so it's starting to boil even though it says don't do it, so the only way I can stop that is to continually stir it. Because I can't turn the hot plate down anymore apart from lifting my
No, I'm not meant. To, it's not meant to pour. So. It is boiling, which is not what it's supposed to do, but never mind. I, it's difficult trying to control a ceramic hob because it's pretty much all or nothing, I'm afraid, sometimes. Well, it takes a long time for a ceramic hob to warm up, and then it takes a long time for it to cool down. So, it's not got quite the controllability of gas, but, you know, we don't have gas in this house. And I'm not sure if this is what soup's supposed to be like. Normally. <laughs> Maybe they put too much flour in, I don't know, but... I mean, as I say, I'm not really a soup person, truthfully. So I don't normally cook soups. In fact, I've got myself barely ever cooked a soup. I'm not sure if I've ever cooked a soup, to be honest, um, apart from just pouring things out of a can and heating them. I can't remember, it's so long ago when I said it as a child when they were teaching people, I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm stirring it around a lot, it will avoid boiling anyway. <laughs> what might, at near the end, I meant to put some cream in and some, um, Right, I'm willing to bet that's probably about five minutes gone. So what I'm going to do now is because it's actually boiling and that's not what I want at all. I'm actually going to put some of the grated cheese in now. So I'm just going to guess the amount of grated cheese that should cool it down and stop it boiling. You meant to put it in after about six minutes, but... Because it was starting to boil, I'll put it in sooner. I'm assuming the idea is to melt the cheese. Um, And um, again, it says don't. So now I'm also. I now have to put the cream in as well. So I'm to open up the this Polish cream, and <coughs> a lot of Polish cream in. That should cool it down. Yeah, it should stop boiling now. As I said, I've just guessed the cream, but I'll probably leave some of this for another day, so. Right, now I'm going to add the um, nutmeg, so I've got some nutmeg here. I'm sure this is seriously out of date. Um, I've no idea. It's probably so. I don't care. So anyway, ground nutmeg. Don't know if you can see it, but it says ground nutmeg. So.
and also some salt. Uh, what surprised me is, is actually put this in at the very end. Sometimes you can put things in earlier, and they may be. And then put in the black pepper. Now let's do all this. I'm going to do that for about a minute, so... Alright, so... Right, that's it, I'm going to just hit my finger in a minute. taste it it seems okay so okay wait a moment now I think there's probably more here than I wanted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve it now so this should be interesting how I'm going to deal with this move this out of the way Now this should be rather interesting. I have here um, a food container there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour all of this into the food containers I'm going to put the spoon in there for now and now I'm going to pour this into the food container also I can have some of this another day Hopefully that should be enough for another day. No. So I'm not actually too hungry at the moment. So now I'm going to put a lid on it for now. Know about that later. And now. This is a sort of soup bowl. I'm sure I've overdone it because I've got barely anything, but I wasn't sure how much I was going to do or how much I was going to eat or if I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm also going to put some pieces of bread in here, so... This is a bigger bowl I got once for eating out of. I assume that's what it was for. I'm sure it's probably some oriental thing. for some sort of oriental food I don't know about. I can't remember what this is really meant to be for, but nonetheless, that's what I'm going to eat. And now while I'm at it, I have some bread. And this is thick bread for toast. I'm going to, instead of croutons, I'm just going to break up little bits of mm, little bits of bread here. 
put bits of bread in it. As I said, you're meant to cook these as croutons, but to be totally honest, I know this is absolute um, heresy, but I said I find croutons sometimes a bit too hard, so I'm going to put a piece of bread in it instead. I know this is heresy, but never mind. My teeth don't really like croutons too much, I'm afraid. There you go. Now, I have some soup, okay? So now, I'm going to eat it, okay? Okay, and now I'm going to eat the soup, okay? So this is it, okay? It's starting to get a bit colder now because I didn't heat this um, bowl. And I'm not sure if it's better or worse with the bread, but... I do understand her croutons argument, so. but you know, sometimes my teeth don't like it, so croutons, so that's why I'm doing it like this, so. Yes, it is definitely tasty, and... Surprising truth because I'm not really a soup person. I don't normally eat soups. Very rarely I had them out of a can. And my mother sometimes used to eat um, some chicken soups from a can. I once accidentally bought a celery soup can by mistake thinking it was a chicken can. Um, trip can and sometime I'll even cook it on camera for you guys. I just haven't got round to it. And that surprised me about this is you know it's not like one million herbs in it or something. But there is nutmeg, so. And I tried to taste some of it without any bread, to be fair. And so I can taste some of the cheese, but not so much. It mostly tastes creamy, I think. I could have probably got away with using a smaller bowl, but I just was worried in case I put too much in and I hadn't got time to worry about it, so I use this bowl, okay, to eat from, okay? Would I make this again? Possibly, but to be fair, I'm not really a soup person, I think. I um, don't really fill you up that much, I think. There's not, because there's not usually much in them. And... Once it didn't matter, because I've already had some things earlier, so... I don't feel quite so hungry right now, but... I 
Okay, so I'm gonna straighten all of it now. So I can't remember if she called it cheese and onion soup or onion and cheese soup, something like that because I've not got the book with me at the moment. I've left it. But there you go guys. And cheese and onion soup. Um based on a recipe by Delia. It's practically an entire recipe but I just didn't bother to actually count or or measure out sorry, measure's the proper word. I didn't bother to measure the correct amount of each of the ingredients, I just guessed it to be honest. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Right now I have roughly 175 milliliters of um, water. And I'm going to add roughly the same amount.